Hi everybody, my name is Ju, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. And today I'm here in Ford Global City. Please do look for Mr. Jericho here. Contact him in this number. He will be the best person for you to look for to guide you through the purchasing experience. What I have right here, when I open the lock, we can see the C-clamp DRL design. And from the looks of it, it doesn't look anything like a base variant because normally when you have a base variant you don't have something like this you don't have chrome there are many features that you will lose but this one starts at 1,799,000 pesos SRP this might be the best the most economical variant that you can pick if you need a seven-seater mid-size SUV that you want to use maybe like 20 years Shijak. So let's start uh, from the front business. All this grill design, this chrome happening here, you know, all these lights are mostly LEDs, except for this uh, turn signal. So even though you bring this out, people won't know that this one is a starting variant. You know, like, yes, 1,799 pesos, it's not cheap. But still, when you are talking about seven-seater mid-size SUV, and a Ford mainstream vehicle, then it changes everything. As the variant becomes more expensive, the differences are usually in the features and especially in the safety features. But for this trend variant, no. It has air curtain, side airbag, front dual airbag. Even if this is the base variant, it still has your safety in mind and your family as well. This is the base variant's design, and just look at it. Comes in dual tone, comes in 18 inch. I'm really shocked as I go around this vehicle. All these features that we see here, the rims, the Ford disc braking system, keyless entry system. It also has global windows, so you can put down all the windows remotely as well. The variant right above this one is the Limited. The limited variant costs 1,999,000 pesos, 200,000 difference. You will have a power liftgate system. Instead of this manual tailgate system. But wow, it has lights here, light there in LED. So most definitely Ford didn't save much with cheap stuff because LEDs are not that expensive now, not like before. They are veering away from the practices of the other mainstream brands wherein they still maintain the pogi looks and also at the same time making the owners proud of what they bought regardless of which variant. The list is complete for this base variant Everest. Yeah, I'm actually shy to call this base variant rear fog lamp rear sensor, rear camera, LED tail lamp system. This is a fantastic deal. Please do let me know in the comment section below if you are already lined up for this. Looking down here, yes, we also get the step board. Now this one is like solid step board. Doesn't have any design or some kind of design cues, except it looks really rugged and it does function well. You can just approach your Everest base variant. Just put your hand in there and it just opens like that. The side mirror is huge with side repeater as well. Now this is power folding, but it's not auto power folding. And just look at this. Even in this grill area, they didn't save money by saving on the chrome. Fantastic. This car is really budget friendly. Because all this time, I thought like the Isuzu MUX before, like LSZE, L4, RZ something, you know, there's another type of engine spec that was the most solid, but I think now this might be the one. With the remote key with you, 
This base variant has keyless entry system. You can also unlock and lock like that and unlock it again. Let me show you the engine bay. 2.0 turbocharged diesel engine mated to six speed automatic transmission. Oh my. <laughs> 170 horsepower and 405 newton meters of torque, rating depth of 800 millimeters. It even has insulation. Can you believe that? Like the only thing that I, I would want is the hydraulic struts, but then wow, it's heavy. It's really heavy. Wow. Single turbo. Ah. Let's get inside and let me show you some of its features that you might not expect in a base variant. Let's get inside and let's check out the vehicle. It's a bit dark in here. So once you take a look at the inside, there's nothing different really. Uh, can you believe that? There's also powered driver seat. There's airbag, airbag, airbags everywhere automatic lighting system even this one is still available the cup holder the design is also the same still with gloss and silver metallic bits here and there i still can't believe that this is the base variant it has everything when i say everything everything but one thing i'm not sure is most probably it this one uh could be dual climate zone for the limited version because it has wireless charging pad same six speed auto brake hold same gravy same french fries uh, same trays up there tray down there of course we would love to have auto dimming room mirror but this one doesn't have same oh no mirror but there's mirror without lights but uh, when you start this vehicle yeah everything's just the same just look at that isn't this fantastic cruise control audio control it is wrapped in leather still wow this piano black and silver metallic not rain sensing, same, even this screen, same. But uh, let me show you the, the reverse. So that's all you get for this 10 inch with sensors. Does it have, oh yeah, it has guided lines, okay. Push start button, just turn it off. Look at the seat design, it's in leather folks. There's a reason why it's 1.8 million, but then, well, this is underrated to be called the base variant. Just everything, 12 volt, lots of trays. Uh, what you'll get in the limited will be power seats also here. So power tailgate, very minimal, very, very minimal for 200,000 difference. Okay, so it is your choice to choose which one would be best for you so i'm not gonna bore you too much uh, if you want to know more about the everest yes uh, this is the base variant but the difference between the limited is 200,000 difference power tailgate probably the accent in the step board probably the aircon the room mirror, which is uh, auto dimming, the power seats on the passenger side of the first row. Other than that, different design of the rim, but same size, 18 inch. Suspension, braking system, engine, transmission, everything's the same. So what do you think? Which one is the best? Please let us know in the comment section below. You know whom you need to contact, right? Jericho Gianallo, he's been here in Ford Global City, well with AutoHub for the longest time. He will be not just your sales consultant, but he will become your good friend. Okay, 
With that, I'll see you in the next video. May your dreams come true.